Dharma means the law. Dharma does not mean religion. In this culture, we don't know what is religion. We don't have such things. See, there is no such thing as Hindu Sanatana Dharma. It is Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana means eternal. Something that's eternal means something that's always true. When people who came from outside, what amazed them was, they did not come as conquerors to first. They just came as bandits. Few dozens or a few hundreds. They were amazed how developed and how economically strong and so much wealth, but unprotected. Their idea of a heap of gold means there would be ten men always standing there with arms. But here, people put a heap of gold on the street and sold. Because society was so evolved, people understood what are the laws. If I steal yours, tomorrow you will steal mine and the whole society will collapse. When the Islamic invasions happened, this happened. They did not come as invaders. They did not come as religious crusaders. They just came as bandits. But when they saw it was so easy, because there were men involved in profound music, mathematics, astro astronomy, astrology, all kinds of things, but there were not too many fighting men. So it was a walkover. The land, the beautiful land that this was, the rich banks of the rivers, agriculturally rich, wealth, gold, diamonds. The first nation which mined diamonds in the world is India. The greatest diamond in the world is still from India. It is sitting on the British crown. But they saw this is like a paradise that you can take without resistance. And they took it because they were basically nomadic people, barbarian. They did their own terrible things. Even when the British came, we must understand, it is not the United Kingdom's army which came, it's East India Company which came. It's a business which came, but they saw it so easy to take this country. They became emperors over a period of time. They came only to do business, traders. Traders came and became emperors and rulers of this nation because we had such a profound culture where people were not in that fighting mode, but involved profoundly into these things and laws were absolutely respected by everybody. So they thought the people who came from outside also is going to respect this, but they were in for a surprise. By the time they recovered, it was all over. So now we are where we are, wherever we are, whether you are Indian, Hindu, non-Hindu, whatever you are, Sanatana Dharma applies to everybody because these are the laws which guide the fundamental process of life. But Smritis are different. So what we are doing today, how you dress today, how you speak today, how you act today, is a generational thing, it's of the times. This keeps changing. How tomorrow the next generation will act, how they will dress, what they will do, it will be totally different from the way we are doing it right now. So this is one dimension of life. This we call as Smriti. Smriti literally translates as memory or from memory. Whatever you are doing right now, how you dress right now, is either just like your father or in reaction, never like your father. <laughs> Isn't it? But both by memory. So you have learned certain things by memory. This is Smriti. But there is Shruti, which can be interpreted in many different ways. One dimension of it is, it's the tune of life. This is not set by you, this is creation. Only if you understand the Shruti of life, then you can find a rhythm. This is what Bharata means. Bha means Bhava or the experience of life. Ra means Raga, which is the Shruti of life. Tha means Tala. Bhava is what happens to you, it's an experience. But Raga is already set, the Shruti is already set. 
now it's for you to find the right rhythm for that so that life happens beautifully like a wonderful music if you don't find the rhythm the same shruti which facilitates life will crush you so when we say sanatana dharma we are talking about that dimension of life which does not change which is fundamental to our existence it's fundamental it is a basis of our existence well how you dress what's your profession how do you deal with your family how do you deal with your relationship society this is all transient every generation it's different from person to person it's different but the laws that govern my life also govern your life and every other life whether it's a worm insect bird animal or plant all of them are ruled by that law which is sanatana dharma the fundamental laws which govern the existence this this must be understood clearly when we talk about laws we are not talking about penal code imposed by human beings upon each other for control and whatever some semblance of sanity in the society because that law has to change from generation to generation you see there is so much fight going on about change this law change that law every generation is fighting for it always that's a different thing because that's a transactional law when we talk about sanatana dharma we are not talking about a transactional dharma we are talking about an existential dharma so sanatana dharma means this what governs your life you must understand that once you understand that you live a profound and beautiful life